nowhere back in that pack. What a huge block oh. for the lead. Into the wall was Tyler Reddick. Oh, and there it is. Right behind him, another one hits. Him. Keep digging, still inside. Oh, my. Oh. Creed across the grass. Just out, cautious out. How hard did Creed in the eight slides through the grass, as does the 23, John Hunter Nemechek. He comes back. The front end of that car destroyed. Right, we're up. We'll stay out here if we can. And others spinning. It seems like that sometimes all starts at the beginning. We saw the block or the, the movement with the two. He had all the way into the wall. That puts a little bit of smoke up. Then that chain reaction. It's just like going down the interstate. Someone slams on the bake. It might not be that guy in the accident, but 10 cars back, he's got to pile into somebody. One of those chain reactions is look, right here. A big move by the two. He's got to try to cross up in front of the 10. Mm. Wow. That's just such an aggressive move. Your car gets really tight. Then behind it, they all get stacked up. Algar got in the back of the eight. And here they go through this wet grass. Well, that's our guy's teammate, right? Just it's the momentum. As the momentum's lost, Allgaier can't tell, can't see, can't react that quick. So you see right here, the two from the bottom of the racetrack, Jeff, goes right to the top. Yeah, he just turns to the right. And right here, when, when the 10 goes up there, too, it's just pulling all the air. I'm sorry, the 16, all the air off of that two car. And it just drives him into the wall. And then, as you said, behind yeah, those chain actually, reaction. They really didn't even hit each other, right? The, the eight got spun up the nose of the seven. And the 23 looks like he got spun up the nose of the double zero. Once again, that infield grass at Charlotte is looking more and more like something's going to have to happen everywhere. The turf there. Yeah. The grass here, Boom, turf that's there. Good contact. But slamming into the wall, the two of Tyler Reddick and then the chain reaction behind them. My shock. It's only two cars. I mean, if not, the only yes. one somehow two cars get spit out of the pack. Well, we were, when we were, when we were on nonstop. Steve looked at me and said, "This can't continue." No. Like, and, and, you know, he saw it coming, and you know, here it is, man. Six to go. Stage in. And I'll yeah. tell you, as a crew chief, after seeing Reddick get pulled out of line and then recover, I would have to start considering the strategy of, listen, let, maybe let's just be a little smart here, a little smart. I'm going to leave it up to my driver. If you get in a position you don't like, don't feel like you're committed there. If you have to pull out of line. Remember, you can go below the W line to bail out. You can't go below it to go forward, but it's not out of bounds to go out. NASCAR has said, listen, we know racing happens and people go down there. I would maybe start encouraging my driver that I'm not going to question if you maybe give up on the play, perhaps, and let it race for a couple laps.